What's up everyone and thank you for joining me again this week. Today we're going to be talking about data type precedence and implicit conversion. So let's start with a quick pop quiz. Imagine we are dividing the value of 4.4 by 0.44. Caveat here being that the 0.44 value is actually a bar chart data type. If you had to guess what the answer is, do you think it would be 10, 11, or 12? If you guessed 11, you're right. You probably don't need to watch this video, so turn it off and go watch some cat videos or something. But if you guessed anything else, especially 10, because that's what I would have guessed, maybe keep watching to learn why SQL Server does this. So before we get into why that answer is 11, let's talk about data type precedence and implicit conversions. So in SQL Server, whenever you're performing any kind of operation on two different values, SQL Server needs to make sure that those data types match before it can do anything. If you have two values that match naturally, like they're both numbers, SQL Server doesn't have to do anything special. It can just go ahead and do a mathematical operation, for example. On the other hand, if you have two mismatched data types, you either have to explicitly use a cast or a convert to make the two data types match, or SQL Server on your behalf will try to do a cast on its own behind the scenes, which is known as an implicit conversion. That implicit conversion needs to happen so that SQL Server can actually do the operation that it needs to do. So if we start with a slightly simpler example of just trying to divide 4.4 divided by 0.44, not specifying any data types, we'll see that we get the answer that we would expect which is 10. If we use the SQL variant property function to look up the data types of these numbers, you'll notice that SQL Server treats them as numerics. If we also check their scale and precision, you'll see that it's 18 in 1 and 18 in 2. Since the base data types match, SQL Server doesn't have to do any kinds of conversions when trying to divide these two numbers, and so we get a result that we expect. But if we instead ask SQL Server to do the same division operation with mismatched data types, the logic SQL Server has to use in order to be able to perform that operation is a little less clear. For example, if we once again divide 4.4 by 0.44, but we define that 0.44 as a float, we get an answer of 10. Now the reason this works is because of implicit conversions and data type precedence. SQL Server uses data type precedence to determine which of these two values it's going to convert into, into which data type it's going to convert it to. Since the float data type has a higher precedence than numeric, SQL Server converts both of our numbers to floats before doing the division and there's no problems. Caveat here, no problems due to this implicit conversion, not necessarily true if we're dealing with floating point math problems, which I'll save that for a different episode. Now things get more tricky when we explicitly define different data types. So if our 4.4 is defined as numeric with default scale and precision, and our 0.44 is a float data type, and we do that division, we get the answer of 9.090909. And the reason this happens is because of the implicit conversion going on due to this data type precedence. Since float takes a higher precedence over numeric data types, SQL Server just chops off the end of the decimal uh, in our 4.4 part of the equation. So we're left with dividing just four divided by 0.44, which is our 9.090909 answer. And so if we go back to our original example of dividing 4.4 by a VARCAR 0.44, you might now have a better understanding of why it equals 11. Since the numeric data type takes precedence over VARCHAR, SQL Server has to convert that VARCHAR to whatever the numeric data type is. And the numeric data type, if we look at it using the SQL variant property function, is of type numeric 18 comma one, so only one value after the decimal place. What that means is that SQL Server will convert that 0.44 to just one decimal place of precision, or 0.4. So when we divide our 4.4 divided by 0.4, we get 11. And so understanding this data type precedence is really important because when you're dealing with various data types of columns in different tables, and you're doing some kind of math on, the, on those columns, you might get really funky results if your data types don't match. And so the best thing to do in those cases is to first just make sure your data types match so no implicit conversions have to occur at all. But if you do have to do some kind of conversion, it's better to be explicit about it so that you will know exactly what's happening and you're not gonna get these funky results from SQL Server automatically converting the data for you. 
So thanks for tuning in this week. I hope this clears up some of the confusion. I put out these SQL Server videos every single week, so if you're not a subscriber yet, be sure to press that subscribe button so you never miss a future episode. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.